What's up, YouTube? Soon! Oh, luckier. And today we may have one of the most satisfying videos we've ever made. But first, I want to ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for more insane Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And please give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoy the content. So, recently, Kaiba came by the Simp and Lucky Game Shop and said, I would like for you to show off my briefcase. I said, what? He said, do it. So, here we are. Today we have Kaiba's briefcase with us. He said this is just a couple cards from his collection, collection, but it's gonna be some of the most valuable, if not the most valuable cards I've ever held in my hand in the entirety of my life. So, that's all of Simple and Lucky, guys. So I just wanna, wow, crazy, okay. Uh, first though, if you guys are wanting to support Simple and Lucky right now, we have these Simple and Lucky game mats, Magician Girls over here along with Dragon Maids and, of course, the Dark Magicians. Um, that would really help if you guys can, so check that out. All right. So, Kaiba's briefcase here. Kaiba chilling. He's watching. He's just making sure everything goes well. Uh, the briefcase is locked. Um, I'm guessing, you know, we do have some quite epic cards inside. But again, Kaiba mentioned that this is just a filler, you know, some, some filler cards inside, but some of the best cards, you know, you'll definitely ever see in this video. So, you guys ready? Let's open up Kaiba's briefcase. Yes, there is locks to the briefcase. Wow. Lock number one. Here we go. <laughs> Lock number two. Oh man. All right, so we'll take these off. Dun, 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 dun. Actually, this probably be the time for some Kaiba music. Then now for the lattice. Woo! You guys ready? Here we go. Give it to us. Kaiba! Oh, okay. Well, that's it. <laughs> There's Kaiba's briefcase for you. Uh, oh! Brain control to start it off. Wow. That is awesome. So we got some gem mint PSA graded cards. Kind of was like, you know, I had some extra cards laying around. Um, got them graded for you guys to show just how valuable my collection, just a small piece of Kaiba's collection can actually be. So um, this is gonna be great. You guys ready? Let's check out the first pile here. So this is a PSA 10 uh, brain control. We'll have some prices come up on screen, some values to give you guys an idea. Uh, but yeah, a Lost Millennium super rare brain control, probably valued around that $40 to $60 range. Very nice to see. Set that right there. All right, next we have Cyber Phoenix, first edition from Enemy of Justice. That's PSA 10 as well. Um, Cyber Phoenix, you'll probably see in that more 30 to 50 range. That is gorgeous. I love me some Cyber Phoenix. And yes, these cards do come ultimate rare, but man, when they're ultimate rare, they are hard to find. And I don't know if Kaiba wanted to show off ultimate rares today. This was more about select few cards inside and b -b 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 -bang control. Um, Kaiba also wanted to note that he does like the rare metal foes. This is one of his favorites. Very cool. Another uh, probably 20 to 40 range on that one. The Chithonia Emperor Dragon from... Uh, T-A-E-V, very cool. First edition, ultra rare. And then we have Confiscation. Wow, I haven't seen that in some time. That is a PSA 10 Magic Ruler, first edition, Confiscation. That looks gorgeous. Uh, confiscation will definitely have a higher value. This is gonna be the highest tier of this card. So probably chilling at more of a 60 to $100 value. Sixty to eighty. Ooh, next, uh, Kaiba does like the Cyber Dragons. He says his uh, alter ego Zane. <laughs> uh, yes. So 
this is big more of a Zane card. This is Cyber Dragon Seeger from Gold Sarcophagus 10. Probably chilling around A10. <laughs> well, PSA 10. Everything in here is PSA 10, kind of told us. So um, probably more of a 40, 30 to 50 dollar And last but not least on this pile, yes, I know you guys can see it. That is a graded 10 Gate Guardian. Oh my gosh. Let's just take a look at this guy. Wow. This is a graded 10 Gate Guardian from 2002 First Edition Metal Raiders. What? So, um, you know, we've seen cards like this come by, you know, in Simple and Lucky videos, maybe back in the day. We've pulled Gate Guardian every now and then, but you guys need to understand that a unlimited Gate Guardian from MRD would be the rarity that's below this. And we're talking an MRD from 2002, not MRD from the reprint packs that you guys have seen us open quite often. Um, that one's maybe $50 or something. An MRD PSA 10 from uh, MRD Unlimited back in the day, 2002, would be more of like a two to $400 card. This first edition, Gay Garden, you guys, we're talking 800 to $1,000. That's crazy. Just round up for the sake of the video. I'll just say it's a thousand dollar card. That's crazy though. Gay Guardian first edition, 3750, 3400 defense. And interestingly enough, this card still is not even on the level of the LOB cards that are first edition graded 10. Crazy. All right. Let's check out the next pile here. B -b 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 brain control, another. $50 value. Kai was really trying to get into your brains right now. Yeah, look at these. Like, <laughs> third rate duels with fourth rate deck. All right, here we go. Another brain control and nice. Uh, Kaiba said that his favorite uh, demon lord, sacred beast, is going to be Hammond, Lord of Striking Thunder. And uh, he had a PSA 10 one laying around from the Duelist set. Very cool. That looks really nice. I never thought of getting Duelist Saga cards graded, but I guess it's actually kind of a normal thing, especially the uh, Blue Eyes hold some value from the set as well, because um, the different rarity. So yeah, it's the first time a Blue Eyes was printed in this rarity. It's the first time all the cards were printed in this parallel ultra rarity. So that card probably showing around a uh, 40, 30 to 50 dollar value, we'll just give it an average. Um, Photo Cyber Dragon, again with the Cyber Dragon cards. He says he uh, may have another version of this somewhere, but for now, just want to check out the PSA 10. That's probably a 30-ish um, dollar card there. Backup Soldier, PSA 10, first edition, Pharaoh's Servant. Now, take a look at that, because again, we're talking about the highest rarity of a cardigan, just like Confiscation was. Gate Guardian, and um, it's very nice to see that. For Backup Soldier, probably thinking like a 60 to 80 dollar card. This is gonna be Pharaoh's Servant, first edition. Just a real quick, guys, this is probably one of the coolest things. I've, I really wanna do PSA or graded card videos uh, for some of the stuff that we pull. Um, the issue is we've contacted and talked with PSA before and it's just gonna take three to six months um, to get the cards back. And for us, that can't really be, it's kind of not worth it to send the cards in for them to take so long to come back. But for some of this classic stuff, obviously it makes sense. But uh, let us know in the comments below if you guys really do want us to try to get some graded videos in. It's going to take three to six months for us to get something back, I guess. But hopefully, uh, if we talk to PSA a little more, maybe we can get it back a little quicker. But let us know in the comments below if you guys are interested in that, because this is this is some crazy stuff. And right now, you know, we're talking about just super rares from these older sets, but it's still really cool to see, of course, Secret Rare Gate Guardian. But I personally really enjoy this, so this is crazy. All right, next is Dust Tornado. Uh, this is first edition. This is going to be PSV as well. Um, Dust Rain was a little bit of a different card because it was actually used so much. So I think this card is a little bit more popular than Backup Soldier. Um, for this, I'd probably say it's more of an $80 to $100 value. Very nice to see it as well. It's the highest rarity, Dust Tornado. Used quite a bit. Ooh, that's pretty. That is a Cybernetic Revolution First Edition Graded 10 Cyber Dragon. Um, now this card's gonna hold a little more value. I know you guys are thinking, well, it comes ultimate. Well, it does come ultimate, and that would be a much more valuable card. Um, but again, Kaiba's Kai was just telling you right now that this is, uh, this is pretty cool. So uh, this is a Graded 10 Cyber Dragon. I think that these will probably be in that 
100 to 150 dollar range. Oh my god. That's crazy. Is that really right? <laughs> no way. No way. This is a 2002 SDK Blue Eyes White Dragon first edition from the starter deck. The original starter deck printed in 2002. No. This is the OG. But I have never even seen one of these before in real life. Yeah, it's definitely not Asia edition. It doesn't have a little Asia sign there. Okay, let's check out the condition of this logo. I just wanna, this is crazy, you guys. It's got a couple nicks here and there, but I just feel like it's almost impossible maybe to kind of see in the video a little bit. Wow. That's insanity. What? That is a, Starter Deck Kaiba, the original print. I think that's actually the first product printed in the US, you guys. That, I believe, is a $2,000 card. What? I'm just gonna hold it again with Kaiba. This is 2000 a single Yu-Gi-Oh card is $2,000. We could just, we could say 1800 to 2200 but we'll just, $2,000. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely crazy, you guys. That is insanity. I love how we can, oh my gosh. So for those of you that purchased first edition, wow, Kai was really showing off all of a sudden. He's like, hey, here's some of these cool cards I like, but bam. Literally one of the most valuable Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Almost 2000 or $2,000 card. Look how the freaking foil goes through that. This is a first edition. Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's a legendary dragon that's a powerful engine of destruction, virtually invincible, only simply unlucky as faced this creature and love to tell the tale. That's insanity. Wow. Wow. Okay, guys. Still got another another pile of here. I don't know, I don't know what Kaiba's thinking right now. So is this supposed to be like boom, boom, boom? Because I'm thinking, okay, what's more valuable than a First edition SDK Blue Eyes White Dragon. Um, well, some ideas are popping in my head, but <laughs> let's, see, let's see. Let's see where this goes from here. Again, b -b 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 brain control. That's cool. Another, again, it's a fifty dollar dragon. Nice. This is a Magic Ruler First Edition. Painful choice. PSA ten again. Rated ten. Uh, gonna be the highest value of that card. Uh, painful choice, one of the best cards in the game. It'd be way too broken in the current meta as well. Putting just five cards from your deck to the grave and getting one to your hand or whatever, but absolutely insane. Um, always like the picture too. It's like, no. <laughs> uh, they don't really make you do cards like that anymore. That's a pretty intense picture. Um, but yeah, crazy uh, for painful choice. You're probably looking at a 60 to $80 value, similar to the uh, confiscation. Dust Tornado, Backup Soldier. Very nice to see that though. Actually, I think someone may have sent this in a Mega Mail to Simply Unlucky um, in a video back in the day. Very cool card to see. Woo! Next here, also from 2002, is the Maha Velo. Rated 10, that's so cool. Um, known to be a pretty dang broken, broken card back in the day. It had its own decks based around it. it gets additional effects uh, for each equip card. Uh, it gains a 500 attack. So you can make an attack multiple times with certain equipments. So, very cool. Um, for Mahavelo, probably again at that 60 to $80 value. First edition graded 10. I believe this is the favorite card of a couple of my friends. It's definitely a girl, right? <laughs> Haven't looked too hard. All right. Magic rule. Oh man, from Metal Raiders, the card, the myth, the legend, changed the game many times. Heavy Storm, first edition, rated 10. That is gorgeous. Let's get the picture and go through that one a little bit. I love the cow, it's great. Um, so Heavy Storm, destroy all 
magic and trap. Again, how it says magic, not spell cards there. Just like magic ruler. Um, I believe Konami changed that back in the day because of the similarities between Wizards of the Coast and magic cards. But yes, uh, absolutely insane. Heavy Storm, one of the best cards. Uh, for this card, it's gonna be a little bit of a higher value, I believe, more in that $80 to $100 range. Um, closer to $100, so very nice to see that. That is Metal Raiders, first edition, Heavy Storm. Ooh. Next, we have an ultimate rare card. I think Kaiba likes uh, his Cyber Primas, likes his Cyber cards here. Uh, this is gonna be the uh, Cyber Blader, Ultimate Rare First Edition from Elemental Energy. Wow, looks very nice. Now, Ultimate Rares are a bit of a different beast, you guys. So Ultimate Rares, not easy, not easy to pull. In some of the older sets, you know, you could get Rares that were Ultimate, and then Supers that were Ultimate, and then Ultras that were Ultimate. So uh, very hard to pull in a lot of scenarios. So minimum ultimate value is usually gonna be $100 for a PSA graded 10s, first edition. So uh, this Cyberblader, I'm guessing it's more towards a like a $150 value. Very nice, Cyberblader. Elemental energy, absolutely crazy. All right. And then next, whoo, my man. Ancient Gear Golem, first edition. Graded 10, this is an interesting card. So ultra rare, I believe he's worth kind of that 150 to $200 range, um, graded 10. Now, ultimate rare, this guy is at least $1,000. I've, I've seen uh, people kind of say they've sold it for 1,200 or 1,500, but ultimate rare first edition Ancient Gear Golem is known as one of the most valuable, valuable cards from the GX series. Uh, so that's that's really cool to see them here kind of reminiscing a little bit, kind of just being like, you know, just giving you a, giving you a look see at some cards that are pretty dang epic. That's really nice to see though. Graded 10 Ancient Gear Golem. Wow. All right. And I believe we have one more card inside. Let's rise this up. Oh no. Oh no. I was gonna say you're not even gonna show it, are you? <laughs> so what card could be more valuable then a first edition starter deck Kaiba. Let's pull it out, let's pull it out. From 2002, the Yu-Gi-Oh! promo from the Dark Duel Stories, known as one of the most epic secret rare arts, which Konami has kind of called prismatic secret rare over, over time here. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. So next to LOB first edition, this is gonna be one of the most valuable Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. What? Actually, I don't even know which one is more valuable. I just, this one I'm not, I don't want to play with too much. This is, uh, <laughs> this is worth at least $3,200, I think. This card alone is worth over $3,000. Graded 10, DDS, so Dark Duel Stories promo, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Wow. Now this is a legendary dragon that's a powerful engine of destruction that is virtually invincible. <laughs> oh man, that is crazy. That is gorgeous, I was like, I think we should move, maybe we can move the camera in the car a little bit here, but this is, uh, this is something else. And it looks like you guys, this is definitely purely graded 10. I don't even see a mark on the card anywhere. Straight from the video game, it looks like. You know, what's funny is about 10, eight to 10 years ago, um, when we just started Simple and Lucky, I was trying to find video games that were sealed to just uh, be able to open them up for the cards inside and to talk about them, possibly get them graded at a later point. And um, I almost got a Dark Duel Stories for about $500. It was like sealed with the cards inside. So inside is gonna be Blue Eyes White Dragon, um, Exodia and Dark Magician. Exodia, the forbidden one, the head. And uh, again, about $500 to $1,000 at the time. This was so long ago too. But now a graded 10 version. Those cards come in their pristine mint, usually, right? So usually at least graded nine, but a graded 10 blue eyes is now over $3,000. I don't, I, don't, I don't even think I've seen a sealed game 
by the way. I mean, I imagine it's at least $3,000 to $5,000 now. Crazy how like time and investment really does affect some of these things. This is a blue eyes white dragon that's worth over $3,000. I'm just gonna hold it up to the camera. Habit's just gonna give a little look-see. He's like, yeah, that's, that's just one of my briefcases. Just wanted to show off a couple cards today. Wow, what an insane collection. Thank you, Kaiba, for uh, giving us the opportunity to see something so magnificent. Holy guacamole. So combined value of this briefcase, um, just obviously with these front cards is over $6,000, but that's, again, you guys, what did we look at today? 15 cards, 15 to 20 cards. This is, this is insanity. This is the future of classic Yu-Gi-Oh right now. This is graded cards, all graded 10. And thank you again so much for watching, guys. This was an amazing video to make. A big thanks to Kaiba uh, for bringing this small piece of his collection. Just having the opportunity to look at some of these cards was, was a phenomenal experience. So hopefully you guys enjoyed as much as I did. I know this is a bit more of a classic thing and that a lot of these cards are from 2002, which may be um, a bit older than some of you guys. So that's insane. It's almost 18, 20 years ago. This is, this is getting crazy. Um, but yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Uh, again, post in the comments below if you'd like to see some graded content like this, because this is just, this is a different kind of experience. It will take some time and investment to do so, but uh, you know, I think this will be really fun. And again, if you guys can support Simply Like You right now, uh, links at the top of the description below. Again, we have the beautiful play mats. Um, and uh, yes, wow. DDS Kaiba, started at Kaiba in the first issue day garden. Crazy. And as always, thank you for watching, and see you, unlucky, signing out.